Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to design a product page for your Shopify store using free AI tools on Shopify. I'll be covering how to list your product and also how to use AI to enhance your product photos. And also if you guys are just now testing out Shopify and if you're not too sure just yet which long-term Shopify plan you would like to commit to, I do have a way that you guys can get your first three months on Shopify for just $1. You can use my link in the description box below to set up your Shopify account and get your first three months on Shopify for just $1. Without further ado, let's get straight into this video. First up, I'll be covering how to create a product in your online store, and I'm gonna show you how you can use AI to help you to lay out your product page. You'll want to open up Shopify, and then you'll wanna click on products. This is the page where you can create brand new products, and you can also open and edit existing products in your website. I'm gonna click add product to add a brand new product to the website, and this will be your product customization page, where you can list the different details about your product. For an overview, you'll be able to list the product's title and description. You can upload pictures and videos of the product. And then you can set the pricing, the inventory amount, and also the shipping details for the product. Here where it says variants, this is where you can list different sizes and color options that you have for your product or other types of product variants. I'm going to start by inserting my title for the product. Then next, I'll be inserting a product description. For an example, I'll be using ChatGPT to help me to generate a product description. Once you add in your product description text, you'll have a variety of different editing options for your product description, and you can also insert pictures and videos throughout the description if you would like. You want to be sure to fill in your product details and publish it first. Then under media is where you can upload your product photos. Once you upload your product photos, I'm gonna show you a way that you can help to enhance your product photos using a free AI tool on Shopify. So here are my current product photos. You can also reposition the product photos by dragging and dropping the photos in the arrangement that you would like. To use AI to customize your product photos, you'll want to click on one of your images. Then off to the right side of your screen, you should see the customization options. You can customize the information of the photo, and you can also crop and transform or resize the photo if you need. I'm going to select color background, and this is going to be using AI to automatically set a new color background. This can help you to quickly enhance and adjust your product photos to give them a studio look. For an example, I can set the background color to white, and as you can see, it makes the product photo look a lot more professional. You can also set it to other colors. Then in case you don't want a solid color background for your photo, you can also use their Replace Background AI tool. When you click this, it's gonna analyze the background of your image, and then you'll be able to type in a prompt to describe what kind of background you would like it to generate. You'll first want to describe the subject or the focal point of the image, and then you can describe which background you would like Shopify to generate. Then you'll want to click Generate. The AI is not quite perfect yet, but it can help to give you a few different options to play around with for your product photos. So here are some of the different backgrounds that it was able to generate. And you can choose if you would like to choose one of these brand new backgrounds, or also if you would like to select the color background. I'll be selecting this photo option with the white background, and then I'm going to click Save. And you can choose to repeat that step with your other product photos to change the backgrounds of any of your other photos that you've uploaded. Then you can proceed to finish filling out your product information. So here I'm gonna set the product pricing. I've set an example for the inventory amount and I've set an example shipping weight. Then under product organization, it's where you can fill in additional details about the type of product that you're listing. You can list yourself as a vendor or list the vendor of the item. And you can also choose to add this product to collections and you can list tags for your product. Adding product tags will allow customers that are searching in your online store to be able to find this exact product based on their search terms matching your product tags. Once you're finished, that is the first step to creating and listing your product on Shopify. I'm going to click save to save this product. And you also wanna be sure that the status of the product is set to active. This way the product will appear in your online store. Then I'll be showing you how to view your product and also how to use AI to help you lay out your product page. On Shopify, you're going to want to open your themes page. Then you'll be able to go in to customize your currently published website. Once you open your website, when you click full screen, this is how you'll be able to view the full screen version of your website. And also when you click this phone icon, that is how you can view an example of how the mobile version can appear. I'm going to open up that product that I just created. This is my product page. You'll be able to see your product media gallery that you've listed off to the left side of your screen. And then you'll see your description and product details on the right side. Next, I'll be showing you how to use AI to transform this page and add more sections to the page. 
Also, if you guys like the layout and style of this website you see here, this is one of my Shopify theme templates. I have a variety of different Shopify theme templates designed for different types of businesses. These can help you to build your website and have a professional look and layout to display your products, services, and more without you having to spend a ton of time creating your website from scratch. In case you're not too familiar with Shopify templates, the Shopify theme will arrive in a zip file format. And when you open Shopify, then click add theme, then upload a zip file. You'll have the option to upload that website theme straight into your store and you can publish it and begin editing it and adding your products. And my Shopify templates are template bundles. So they do include installation guides with instructions and screenshots to walk you through how to install the Shopify theme into your store. And I have a wide variety of Shopify themes designed for beauty, makeup, and skincare businesses, clothing and accessory businesses. And I also have Shopify themes for dropshipping stores and coaching businesses. Most of my Shopify template bundles also include additional templates like web banner templates, logo templates, and more. If you're looking to save the time from having to design and lay out your website from scratch, you can grab one of my Shopify themes from my website, which I will link in the description box below. Then next, I'll be showing you a way that you can use AI to help you lay out your product page in case you would like to add more sections to your product page. You can turn your product page into sort of a sales page for your item by including additional sections to list more details about your product or to show your product up close. And also when you open up one of your product pages, you will have a variety of editing options for ways that you can customize your product information box. So for example, here under media, next to desktop layout, I can adjust the appearance of the desktop layout. Feel free to play around with the different customization settings to choose which layout settings you like the best. I'm gonna be opening Shopify's AI chat tool, which is Shopify Sidekick. You can ask Shopify Sidekick a plethora of questions related to your website or even how to navigate Shopify. Shopify Sidekick can also help you to build your online store and lay out your pages. I've just asked it what different sections I can add to my product page. And based on its answers, you can choose which different sections you would like to add and integrate into your Shopify product page. So here are a few of the AI recommendations. I can add a featured collection, a product rating section, and then a few other additional sections if I would like. I'll be adding the recommended featured collection so that I can feature another product collection on this product page. If your product has ratings, you can connect your product reviews app so that you can feature your product reviews. Next, I've just asked it, how do I add the featured collection section so that I can get a walkthrough of how to add that section. Shopify Sidekick can help you to save a ton of time because you can just ask it any questions that you have related to Shopify. So I'm going to be following the instructions to add that section to my product page. I'm going to click add section and this is where I'll be inserting that featured collection. Adding a featured collection can be a great way to feature a specific product collection so that when your customers scroll to the bottom of your product page, they can also be recommended other products. Then you can begin customizing your featured collection with all of the different customization options that are here on the left side of the screen. To get started, you'll be able to retitle the heading text for this section. You can also adjust the heading size. So currently it is set to medium, but you can choose to increase or reduce the size of the text. And if you'd like, you can include a mini collection description to describe what category of products you're featuring. Then next to collection, this is where you'll be able to select which product collection you would like to feature. And that is how to link your product collection so that you have featured it on your product page. Next to maximum products to show, you can adjust how many products you would like to show at max. Then you can adjust the number of columns that you would like to display on a desktop. So for example, if I set this to three, it's gonna show three products at a time in each row on a desktop device. I'm gonna set this back to four. If you'd like to adjust the display of the products, you can choose if you would like to make the products full width or not. And also you may be able to display the view all button depending on how many products you have in that collection. If you'd like, you can choose to set a new color scheme for this section. And then under product card is where you can adjust the display of the covers for the product. So for example, you can choose to customize the image ratio. And you can even choose if you would like to add a quick add button to the products. Then after adding sections to your product page, you'll want to review your product in terms of how the mobile display appears. So here is the mobile display of this product page. Customers will be able to swipe through the product media grid and at the bottom of the page, this is the display of the featured collection. If you'd like to customize the display of this featured collection on a mobile device, you'll just want to click on your featured collection. And when you scroll down under mobile layouts is where you'll have different editing options so that you can customize the display of this section on a mobile device. So you can choose if you would like to display one column at a time on a mobile 
or two columns at a time. When you show one column at a time, this is going to show each product more close up. You can also choose if you would like to enable the swipe on mobile. This way your customers will be able to just swipe through this section to view the additional products. I'm going to have that swipe on mobile enabled and then I'm also going to apply the two columns at a time. And that is going to be the new layout of the product page. Next, you can choose if you would like to add additional product sections to your product page. I'll be adding a text section, which will be a little bit of sales text, explaining why people should buy this product. And I'll be doing this with the help of ChatGPT. I've inserted my prompt, and then I'm gonna go ahead and have ChatGPT write the sales text for this example product. Then I'm going to select this text, then here on the product page, I've decided I'm gonna add this text midway through the website. So I'm gonna click add section and then I'll be inserting an image with text. For this section, I'll be inserting a product image and then I'll be adding that sales text over here which will appear next to that picture. I'm gonna remove this heading text. Then I'm also going to remove this button label text. And that's how to add an image banner to this section. That's how I've added the image with text. I'm going to readjust the desktop image placement. Once you've done that, that is how to add a new section to your product page. And once you're finished, those are a few different ways that you can use AI to help you to build your product page on Shopify. Don't forget, you can play around with the different tools and the different features. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget if you are interested in this Shopify template, I will have this link in my description box below. And I also have a wide variety of other types of Shopify templates designed for clothing, apparel, beauty, and many other types of businesses. If you're not too familiar with Shopify theme templates, after your order, you're gonna receive it in a theme zip file format. And here on Shopify, you'll have the option to install that theme zip file straight into your store. You'll be able to edit the sections and you'll be able to add your pictures and products. Most of my Shopify themes are template bundles, so they do include other templates like logo templates, banner templates, and more. Those will be linked in my description box below. Thank you all so much for watching.